Hi, everybody. Welcome to Rika's reading room. Today, I'm going to read an educational book. I know you'll love it. The Girl with a Mind for Math: The Story of Ray Montagu. Written by Julia Finley Mosca, illustrated by Daniel Riley. If you have the same book, go grab it so you can read along with me. If there's something you want, but it seems out of reach, here's a story for you. A great truth it will teach. When you focus your mind, you'll succeed through and through, like one bold engineer by the name Montagu. In a state we call Arkansas, one winter day, a baby was welcomed. A girl they called Ray. She was bright as a star, super smart from the start. She was headstrong, this child, and not faint of heart. Yes, this girl had potential. Her granddad was proud. He told her, "Work hard, you'll stand out from the crowd." Then something she cherished. When Ray was just seven, he took her to see her first ship. It was heaven. A real submarine. Her eyes opened wide. Who made it? She asked as they followed the guide. Engineers said the man. Giving Ray's head a pat, but my dear, you don't need to know all about that. At the time, the man's insult went over her head. No, you can't. Were the words he had meant but not said. Engineering thought Ray, and her life's dream began. Except most people laughed when she told them her plan. Stay strong," said her mom. "Use your brains. You'll be fine. There will always be people who pay you no mind, just because you're a girl and because you are black. Don't let them or the state of your school hold you back." You see, schools in those days were what's called segregated. The black and white students were kept separated. That's wrong! You exclaim. It was dismal, no fooling, and worst of all, white kids received better schooling. But Ray studied hard. She had grit, taught herself. She was gifted in math and read books by the shelf. When the time came for college, she knew what to choose. She learned to build boats, but she got some bad news. Engineering is not taught to black students," he said. Her heart hit the floor. I'll take business instead. She learned what she could, and she learned rest later. Their rules were unjust, but that school wouldn't break her. Ray finished with honors. Oh boy, what a smarty! She said her farewells. There was no time to party. I'm off to a place filled with history's greats, the capital city of all fifty states. Now finding a job, it turned out that took time. She looked and she looked. Ray was not one to whine. Then it must have been fate. At least that's what it seems. She was hired to type, where he built submarines. The Navy. That's right. Oh, but hold all your cheers. Ship designing was only for trained engineers. So she watched as they worked, and she learned every task. Even studied computers by night in a class. Then her big break arrived. The whole staff got the flu. Ray did all of her work, and the engineers too. Her boss was in shock. How he exploded from memory," said Ray, and with that got promoted. Life should have been swell, yet that wasn't the case. Her boss treated her poorly because of her race. Many people like him try to make her feel small. Ray just held her head high, and she outworked them all. 
What next? From the White House, there came a command: the president ordered a ship, make it grand, and quickly. He added, "Well, that didn't fly. All those plans would take engineers months to supply." Here's the thing about that: when designing a boat, there are thousands of measurements one needs to note. All those numbers take math, and that takes some time. Ah, but Ray had been working on something sublime. She took a deep breath. I can solve this, she said. I've come up with a system to do it instead. I'll draw the plans faster, she told them. Don't fret. I'll design the first ship by computer. No sweat. How long do you think that might take? What's your guess? Will it take her a month? Maybe weeks for success? Well, took calculations and tons of caffeine, but Ray finished in hours, just over eighteen. Her program it worked. All the blueprints were done. The ship was constructed. The engineers stunned. You did it, De Cheer, and her boss had to say that her quick mind for math had in fact saved the day. The end? No, not quite. When Ray's ship was unveiled, only white men could go, and Ray's invite not mailed. Say what? You heard right. No invite? A borable. In fact, some might say it was downright deplorable. Yet Ray kept her cool, gave her best every day, and in time, all her skills were applauded. Hooray! People learned of her work. Who's this Ray? De demand. When he met her, they stared. They expected a man. Yes, that happened a lot. Many could not believe that women of color did all she'd achieve. Some even thought Ray was a maid. Sad but true. When he ordered a drink, she'd say, "Bring me one too." All her humor and wit served her well through the years, as she battled the hard times with laughs and not tears. And that boss in the navy who'd been so unkind made Ray the first woman to lead ship design. More honors would follow. Her fame picked up steam, and finally, at last, she accomplished her dream. That towel she'd worked for an engineer. Score! Now the world knows her feats. She is hidden no more. So the lesson to all is: don't ever give in. Take a chance. Rock the boat. If it sinks, you can swim. When a storm comes your way, hold your course and don't stress. Never quit. And like Ray, propel straight to success. Dear reader, if you have a dream like I did. Study hard and stay focused. Always remember that just because someone says you can't, that doesn't have to stop you. You might have to go in a different direction, and it might take you a little longer, but you can achieve your dreams. Ray Montagu. Nineteen thirty-five. Born on January twenty-one, nineteen thirty-five, in Little Rock, Arkansas. Nineteen forty-two, Tours first submarine, sparking an interest in engineering. Nineteen fifty-two, graduates from Merrill High School in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Nineteen fifty-six, receives business degree from Arkansas Agricultural. Mechanical at Normal College. 1956, moves to Washington D.C. and works for U.S. Navy as clerk typist. 1962, promoted to computer systems analyst. 1971, completes world's first ship design by computer in 18 hours and 26 minutes. 1972 receives Navy Meritorious Civilian Service Award. 
1978. Receives Society of Manufacturing Engineers Achievement Award. 1978. Excluded from launch of ship, she designed FFG-7 Frigate. 1978. Licensed as Registered Professional Engineer in the United States. 1979. Licensed as Registered Professional Engineer in Canada. 1984. Becomes U.S. Navy's first female program manager of ships. 1988. Receives National Computer Graphics Association Award. 2006. Returns to Little Rock, Arkansas to live near family. 2017. Honored by U.S. Navy as their first hidden figure. 2017. Featured on ABC News televised morning show, Good Morning America. Honored by Congressional Black Caucus. Present. Lives in Little Rock, Arkansas, where she continues to speak and mentor. D end. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please click the subscribe button for more and be the first to know when a video comes out by tapping that bell. See you next time.